But as long as I got that grippy grip, yeah, it's, it's gonna live forever. Cause a cat can have nine lives. to listen to like sexy audio stories on Dipsy. You guys can try to. All you have to do is go to dipsystories.com backslash Peyton and you'll get full access for 30 days to all of the stories. They have his and her stories, her and her stories, his and his stories. Like I like to listen to the male stories and the male perspective because I'm not gonna lie. Like when I hear a man mom, it does something for me. It really does put me in the mood. And you wouldn't even think that listening to listening to a story would put you in the mood. But like these are great for like getting you aroused, stress relief, you know, just makes you feel empowered. They also have like sleep audio, um, wellness audios, written stories and stuff like that. So it's something on there for everybody. I highly encourage you guys to try it out. Um... It's free to sign up. Like I said, all you have to do is go to dipsystories.com backslash Peyton and you will get 30 days full access of all of the stories. The story that I was just listening to was, you guys remember the light-skinned guy that Molly was dating on the show Insecure on HBO? Well, that was him reading. And I'm not gonna lie, like he's not like the most attractive to me, but like I love his voice. And listening to this story, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm over here with my legs crossed, feeling a little shy. Like, excuse me, sir. Um, you know, like he in the room or something, like he can see me. I would definitely say that these audio stories actually work. They really do put you in the mood. Because I'm not going to lie. I listen to it and all day I've been thinking about my little boo. Well, let me not call him little boo. He is big boo, okay? <laughs> Period. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of vlog. Thank you for joining me. It is a little late in the day. It's 5.49 p.m. I actually just finished editing the vlog that's going up today. So um, now I'm getting ready to make me a little bowl. I got it from Kroger's the Buffalo. Buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese bowl. Some quick. I should have got more of these because I actually like these. They're really good. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a little garlic powder mm -hmm. and a little salt. Not too much because she got high blood pressure. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. That. I'm gonna stir it up real nice and put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I feel like it needs more salt. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I, sh I definitely should have gotten one of these. I don't know what I was thinking. I like these a lot. I could eat one every day. Anyway, y'all like my little messy bun. This is how I went to sleep last night. These clip-ins, I like them. They're very versatile. Like you can put your head a ponytail, top bun. I still got the clip-ins in. This is how I went to sleep. 
because my curls fell, I was sleepy. I stayed up on the phone with my new little boo to about five o'clock in the morning. We both literally was falling asleep on the phone. But you know how when you like somebody so much you don't want to get off the phone with them? That's him. Like, I like him that much. So yeah, I definitely did not want to wrap my hair last night. So I put it in this little top knot bun. Wrapped it up. And probably when I take it down, it'll have like some curls in it or whatever. But I kind of want to do like a messy ponytail if I go out tonight. I need to film a chit chat get ready with me. I'm probably going to do that a little later. Because I want to go out. What is there to do on Saturdays? Let me look on Eventbrite. Okay, today is today. Why are you still showing Friday? That don't make no sense. <sighs> this thing's stupid. Nah, tomorrow is... This thing's stupid. Okay. So you got opera. I definitely ain't going to opera. R&B artist Maya Host met Saturdays at... Child, not my love is like, whoa, gonna be at opera tonight. Do she know what she getting herself into? Opera's kind of ratchet. I don't know about that, Maya. But I would love, I would love to go <laughs> and sing, whoa. I was singing, whoa, yesterday in the shower. Whoa, whoa. Are you gonna spend the night freezing on me? Oh me, oh my, 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 oh, oh me. Hold me like you never want to let me go. If you like it, what you're tasting, baby, let me know. If you got love, we gotta let me stroll. Cause I want this love to last. What else going on? Mr. Champagne Drag Brunch. Oh, what the girls. What happened to all the day party? Let me tell you something. When I first moved to Dallas, baby, Dallas was so lit. Summer 16. Dallas was so lit. It was a day party on damn near every block. The cuties was out. Hmm, what's going on now? I might stay in the house today. But I did get... Some new stuff. Girl. I did a big old haul, y'all. I spent so much money in Manier Dubois. I love that stuff. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna break my heart if I start seeing she in with this shit. Cause Manier Dubois is not cheap. She in is, and you know she in is like a big vendor. They're actually here in Dallas right now doing pop-ups. They're here till tomorrow, I think. But I ordered some stuff from Forward. And what's that? And Manier Duvoir. And I also got like a huge, I also did a huge Michaels haul too. Um, my last two vlogs, I'm actually wearing like stuff that I got from Michaels. I love Michaels. Oh my God. Like their price point on their items and the quality. Top tier. You can't beat it. They'll put outfits together for you so you don't even have to like. That's what I like about Michael's website. The outfits are already kind of be like right next to each other. So you really don't have to like be on there for hours trying to figure out what to wear with this shirt and stuff like that. They already kind of like pair outfit of the day. So I love that. So I'll show y'all that when I get done eating. But I just got finished working so I kind of want to relax a little bit. I want to relax. Good morning. Y'all, I finally got my TV mounted. It looks so good. It literally took my task rabbit like 45, 50 minutes, not even an hour. 
And he was such a small man, but he did it all his own. I was like, you want me to help you? Like, if you need anything, just let me know. I'm Brenda the Builder. I probably could have mounted it myself, but I'd rather pay somebody. So just let me know if you want me to help you, okay? But he did it. It's real nice and professional. Yeah, he did it. He did a great job. See? And I got the mount where you can turn it. Um, You can, like, pull it out and turn it. So I can watch in my bed. Excuse me, y'all. So the reason why I moved the dresser to that wall, um, one, it's a mirror dresser. So the light coming in reflects off the mirror and it makes it so much more brighter in here. That's one. But two, I noticed with the TV being on the other wall and me laying in my bed, it had my neck kind of like me laying in my bed watching it. It had my neck doing it. So I felt like it was like contributing to a lot of my neck and back pain. So now I'm more, I'm laying kind of sideways in the bed. I have the TV turned and it's, and it's elevated a little bit more higher. So when I'm laying in bed, my neck is more like this instead of like this. I'm just trying to be proactive because I, I think about what my neck and my back and my posture will look like when I'm old. And when I'm old, it is what it is. I'm old. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I have who I'm supposed to be with by then. If not, it's just going to be me and Quita. Like the Golden Girls. It's just going to be me and Quita in the house. And we might rent out the other two rooms because it's going to be a big house. Yeah, you know what, fuck a nigga. It's just gonna be me and Quita, and we gonna rent our rooms, and we gonna have two other older ladies staying with us, and baby, it's gonna be a vibe. Hello, we gonna have, we're gonna have a good time, okay? Play a P gonna always, play a P the senior citizen. Fuck you talking about? So, <laughs> play a P taking her geritol. Y'all, my curling iron. It's almost like an electric Marcel barrel curl, whatever. I've had it ever since I was in the military. I've literally had this Carolina nine ever since I was in the Navy. I want to say I got it in like 2000. 2000, possibly 2000. No, you know what? I went in the military in 2001. What are you talking about? I got it in 2002. Yeah. And I used to flat iron my hair with this barrel curler because when I was in high school, I went to this guy. He used to do, um, it wasn't even called silk presses back then. Back in the day, it was just a wash and flat iron. Silk, bre silk press came years later, almost a decade later. But back in the day, my auntie used to take me and my cousin Jessica to the salon every two weeks and we would get our hair um shampooed and flat ironed and we had relaxers back then and my cousin is 100 percent natural she went natural uh almost a decade ago i'm just now going natural i tried it when i first moved to dallas and baby that shrinkage oh my god it intimidated me i was like i'm not gonna be able to do this i'm not gonna be able to be natural so i ended up putting a relaxer in my hair a week later but it was still like i would stretch out the relaxers um, but now I'm 100% natural. Anyway, I was, I got off topic. So he used to flat iron our hair with Marcel curling irons. He never used a flat iron on our hair. Even when they came out with the Marcel flat iron that you actually had to put in the stove and heat it up. He, he didn't use those on our hair. He flat ironed our hair with Marcel curling irons and oh my god when i tell you the body the shine the texture how flat they get i almost kind of want to go back to flat ironing my hair with marcel's because it would get so flat oh my god it would be so silky child it would just be absolutely beautiful so when i went into the military flat irons wasn't really like Back in 2000, 2001, 2002, 
flat irons weren't as good as they are today. Like back in the day, um, 20 years ago, when you got a flat iron, it literally had an on and off switch. That's it. So however hot it got, you really didn't know. Um, and if you had like a certain texture hair like myself, you weren't really getting flat, flat irons with flat irons back in the day. They have come so far now. So I got these hot, I think, I think they were hot tools. It was a, a one and a half inch, maybe two inch. Yeah, it was two. It was two inch barrel curl. Cause that's what he used to use to flat iron me and Jessica hair. And I would like literally flat iron my hair and it would be the exact same. So I had that curling iron for 20 years, y'all. And it just broke on me the other night when I was curling my hair. When I was curling these um, clip ends, it broke on me. And I'm not even going to lie. It didn't even bother me. I was just like, oh, well, I just have to buy some more. But now that I think about it, I have had those curling irons for over 20 years. And they just broke on me. And it actually still worked. It's the handle that broke. Um, But I'm going to throw them away. And so I'm going to put some clothes on and go up to Ulta and buy a new curling iron. But right now, we watching us Monroe, okay? Getting, getting into a little vlog, a couple of these vlogs. I'm hot, and you're not. If you want to get with me, I'll get it. What? Shut top that. Top that. You can do it if you lose it, but you never top that. Top that. Dun 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 dun. See? What is this? See? It's rubbed off. I don't even know what it's called. No, I, I, I want to say it's a hot tools, but yeah, 20 years. I put it in the sink because I used it the other night and it was still hot, so now I can throw it away. Okay, we're about to go out and run some errands. This is what I'm wearing. This little cute little house dress is what I'm calling it. I got from Target. It fits to the T. I think I got it in the extra small. Come on, body. Fendi slides and my little Chanel bag that I got from the fashion club. And I'm doing this little unkept natural look. However, I'm not going to be out long. However, I'm not gonna be out long, so whatever. So I'm wearing Joe Malone Mira and Tonka today. It smells amazing. Well, right now, I might put something else on later, but honestly, I might put this bag on later. Cause it smells so good. I was saying to myself, uh, well, since while well, I'm out, I might as well give me something to eat. Because it's a bread one. It's the also that I'm going to is a bread one right next to it. And I could go for some early brunch, some early Sunday brunch. But it's Sunday, and um, bread one is probably going to be packed right now. I don't know. I might just come back home and make me a breakfast make me some breakfast myself instead of spending unnecessary money on eating out when I just went to the grocery store but who knows cuz I'm kind of in the mood for steak and eggs and I keep saying I'm gonna stop eating red meat cuz it's not good for you don't let them fool you with all the protein and all this shit red meat not good for you and I'm really trying not to eat it anymore but it's gonna be very very hard to wean myself off of it while I'm at Ulta, y'all, remind me to get some, like, something for Frizz. Something to, like, combat Frizz in this humidity. Because the way my curls fell last night was highly, highly discouraging. But I actually really like how versatile these seamless clip-ins are. They're super versatile, like... When I put my hair up in a ponytail, I was like, okay, yeah, 
I like these. I like these a lot. Because if you don't know me, you know that I love a good old unkept bed head look. We have a decision. So, this Ulta is like in the perfect spot because not only is a breadwinner's right over there, I can make, I can eat breakfast, but a Trader Joe's is right behind me. So, if I want to go home and make breakfast, I could just pop over to Trader Joe's and give me some of that good old French toast that I love so much. Second every minute, man. I every, every second every minute, man. I every second every minute, man. I swear that she can get it, man. I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Every second every minute, man. I swear that she can get it, man. I swear that she can get it, man. I swear that she can get it. You got me. I'm reading my comments and Sonya Smith said, I just watched this video and I agree with you about Nick Turban Cannon to sit his bony ass down somewhere. <coughs> <coughs> Do y'all ever eat and feel like phlegm in your throat afterwards? I don't know, but like, you know how Dr. Sebi be talking about like the body is made up of mucus and you're supposed to like make your body more alkaline to fight viruses and health conditions and stuff like that and every time i eat something that i feel like dr sebi wouldn't approve of i always get that little phlegm in the back of my throat that doctors call acid reflux but i don't know about that i don't know about that but it makes sense acid reflux because your body is too acidic i need to go and take that test me and quita was talking about taking their blood test to find out how acidic your body is. And it basically will tell you like what everything that's going on. Um, but I, I, I don't even feel like it's an overnight thing to like turn your body from acidic to alkaline. Like it would be a process over months to years. I definitely feel like that. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm reading a comment and Sonya Smith says, I just watched this video and I agree with you about Nick Turban Cannon to see his bony ass down somewhere because he is cute, but not fine cute to be having all those kids. I love you, sis, and you always make my day. You are hilarious. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina, and when my daughter moves to Texas, I hope to meet you and just do a Pilates or yoga class. Stay blessed and prayed up. Thank you. Yeah, girl, let's go to Pilates and get healthy. Get healthy and hot. Nick... Nick, you done done enough knocking up, baby. It's time to knock it off before you be knocking on erectile dysfunction's door. Because like I said, I dated a man with seven kids. Baby, his dick was definitely dying. Mm-hmm. I have been drinking, by the way. Um, yeah, it's, it's a no for me. You know what I'm saying? Men need to understand that that little baby down there got an expiration date. See, mine gonna last forever. It might dry up, but that's what spit and lube for. But as long as I got that grippy grip, yeah, it's, it's gonna live forever because cats have nine lives. Oh no. See, this is why I don't like people smoking backwoods over here. Uh, 
The ashes is on my beige rug. Hey y'all, good morning. So I'm about to have my little morning breakfast. Drink two boosts. Um, Cause I'm about to take a shower, throw something on, and go get my toes done. And I'm going to see if I can walk in and get an appointment at laser hair removal because I missed my appointment a week and a half ago. Okay, so this is a dual upload day. So when y'all get done watching this, if y'all haven't already, because I uploaded a chit chat, get ready with me while y'all was at work. So now that y'all off work, if y'all haven't watched a chit chat, get ready with me, definitely go and check that one out too. Trying to meet deadline. You know how it go. Y'all, I just made a playlist on Apple Music. It's called Dating in 2022 Be Like. Oh my God, it's the jams, okay? It's all of the feels, all of the jams. Um, I will link it in the description box for y'all so y'all can check it out and go listen. Listen on your way home from work, baby. Listen in the shower, listen in the tub. Listen when you just got through cutting a nigga off. And what about it? So I got my hair pulled up in a ponytail. Y'all, it literally look like I got tape-ins. These seamless, go sleek clip-ins. A lot of people have these seamless clip-ins now. Because I just got uh, some from Balami 2. Bell Ami hair too. I got some balayage ones. Because um, I do plan on like, you know, rocking the clip-ins. Every now and then in between, you know, my protective styles. Because honestly trying to control frizz is putting a lot of heat on my hair and i didn't grow it out this long and get it to be this healthy for me to turn around and damage it just because i'm trying to keep up with the trend you know what i'm saying um i still will be wearing wigs i love my natural hair but i still will be wearing wigs because controlling frizz and maintaining frizz in this humid climate is just it's too much it, it like i would literally be putting heat on my hair every day can't do it but i got it pulled up in a ponytail right now and i swear it looks just like i got tape ends in no lie and this kinky straight hair is literally chef's kiss it matches 4c texture perfectly it frizz my hair frizz so when i'm going through a frizz it don't look like ma'am that's not your hair but yeah so now i'm getting ready to head to i smell so good y'all lord I got on Lay Labo's Tonka 25. So, um, a few things that I have to do today. I'm going to go get my nails done. I'm going to go get laser hair removal. And I'm going to pop over to Lay Labo to get... I'm going to see if they got the Tonka 25 shower gel. But I know I want the, another 13 shower gel. It is so light. Literally, after you get out of the shower, you can barely smell it on your skin. But while you're in the shower, it smells so damn good. Oh my god, it smells so good. So we're gonna pop over to Lay Labo and get um some shower gel. And then after that, we coming back to the house and we're gonna make us a salad and edit this video because it's going up today. This video is going up today. So I'm a, hopefully I'll be back at the house before four. Right now it's 12:41. So I'm hoping that i'll be back at the house by four so i can edit this video within like an hour and a half and it'll go up around 6 p.m we shall see we're gonna keep up with it let me show you how dedicated your, your your girl is but i smell so fucking good oh talk 25 is that bitch laser away first and see if they can like fit me in today if not then i mean i shave so and ain't nobody gonna see it with me so if they can't they can't but let's just see let's just see Hi. okay okay 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, honey. Okay. Bye. All right. Now we can go get our toes done. And my friend. Hey, friend. Good. Pedicure. Jelly. Oh, in jail. Okay. Okay, and that was my last laser hair removal treatment. I'm still getting hair, but they're like patches of hair. It's not like a full grown, you know what I'm saying? Um, I kind of wish that I didn't get orange. I wish I had got another pastel instead of a neon, but whatever. I might like it after I actually put some shoes on. But I'm feeling like I should have got a pastel. Anyway, let's pop over to the mall really quick. And I think I want to stop at Ulta and Target before I go home. There is an Ulta in Target, so hopefully I can do like kill two birds and one stone. Because the girls have been talking about this ordinary glycolic toner that's really good for using under your arms to lighten your underarm. So I want to get that. And there's some Naturium, I guess, body wash that I just, just saw an ad for on Instagram. It's supposed to be like an oil that lathers up. It's a shower oil. Um, so I think I want to pick that up and try that. But yeah, let's pop over to Le Labo in Nordstrom's really quick and see if they have the another 13 body wash yeah i just noticed that um over there by laser away and where i get my toes done there's a cover right next to a chipotle i don't know why i'm just noticing it but way to confuse people oddly it's it's always more people in chipotle than it is in cover Get out of my business. Oh, what you feel me? You need to keep going and mind the business that pay you and your car note, sir. Are you finding anything? Why these activewear pants done ripped up the butt part? But it's like a subtle rip right so it almost kind of like you can totally if you looking hard which you know these ads be asking so they be looking hard um you can kind of see my my crack a little bit but i don't know it looked like it's supposed to be there and it's kind of sexy so i'm about to go to target because i still have things to do 
Okay, y'all don't mind this tree right here. We we figuring out what we gonna do to this room. But I wanna show y'all everything that I got from my Micah's haul. Cause I spent almost almost six hundred dollars. I got a lot of stuff. I, I feel like I got everything that they showed. Pretty much, cause they have really good quality stuff for affordable prices. Okay, so the first piece is this emerald green bustier. Love it because um, I needed more stuff to wear with my emerald green Prada shoes. And I feel like this would be so cute with like some blue denim jeans with like a cut in it. Kind of playing on that Madonna Vogue 90s vibe, but in the green with the shoes. So this is cute. And y'all know I already wore like two items that I got. Okay. Oh, this is real nice quality. The next piece is this cute muscle tank. It's emerald green, green as well. Um, and I think I got a skirt to go with this. I need it. A lot of their stuff comes like side by side where you can like pair it and make it an outfit. So I got this long pencil green skirt that'll go good with it but even if i don't want to wear it with a skirt i could just wear this muscle tee with some jeans and those green prada shoes next i got this cute white dress that i felt would be really cute to wear on a vacation that's really cute i love the bottom then i got this cute little piece right here i thought would be real cute to wear with like some jeans and a white bucket hat with some cute shoes also got another bustier this one has like a gold chain around it that is really cute that is really really cute next i got this cute wrap skirt with this like aztec type of design I got a top to go with it as well. This is also a skirt and it just wraps. So this is basically like a long cloth and you wrap it and tie it and make it a skirt. Then I got these palazzo pants in this gold satin material. I'm gonna have to try these on. I think I got these in a medium because I really want, I wanted to make sure they fit. They look like really good quality and they are. They are very, very good quality. Another bustier in this like brownish olive color. And I feel like it will go well with this wrap skirt. Then I got this cute pink dress. It's just a basic pleated pink dress. I thought that this would be really cute with my pink Jimmy Choo's. I also got this silk dress. Wow, this is big. Oh, I, don't, I already know I'm not gonna like this. This is freaking huge. This came separate, but I'm pretty sure you've seen this little outfit all over Instagram. So I got this. It's a matching set, but it comes separately though. I also got this really cute dress. It's fun and very sheer and see-through, so I would have to wear a white bodysuit underneath it. But I thought that this would be really cute to wear with like some white mules or heels. So I got this shirt to go with this skirt, but now that they're in front of me, it, it's not really looking like it matches. I don't know, it's, it's kind of like two different hues of like this mint blue. But this skirt is really cute. So you can pair this with like a white crop top or a bodysuit and still rock this. And then this crop top is super cute too. You could just like wear this on its own with like a pair of jeans. And then I got another set that came separate. So it's this top here. And then this cloth that's kind of sheer and you wrap it and make it a skirt. And the last item is just this cute crop top. And it will also go really well with that Aztec 
print top. You can either pair it with this skirt here. It'll go well with that skirt. Or you can pair the bustier with the Aztec print skirt. And that's my Michaels haul. I did all that just in time before my battery died. Okay. Now let me clean all this stuff up. Good morning, good morning. So today is Friday. I'm getting ready to go meet up with Courtney. We're going to go to the hair store um, because she recommended a product that's really good for keeping my hair straight for a number of days so I don't have to keep applying heat to it since I'm wearing these clip-ins and y'all are digging the natural hair. This is just what I'm wearing for today. So let me give you the outfit deets. So the hat is from Target. It actually fits now that I'm not wearing a wig. It fits really good. So belay that complaint the top is from micasofficial.com so it's like this you know cute little top i wanted a green bra uh, <laughs> i have to wear a bra with this and this is the only bra that i had so don't judge the jeans are levi's the um slides are bottega veneta from fashion plug and so is the bag Y'all know my favorite color green, so. I also am wearing um, the Morlani lashes that I had on in my Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. If you guys have not checked it out, go and check out that Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. It's funny and informative and real. Plus, I slayed that look, honey. And, you know, since I got on all this green, because y'all ask me, do I still wake and bake? I do. Right and hard too. Well, not, I mean, not extremely hard, but okay. All right, so I'm gonna run some errands. I need to go up to Ulta. I need to go buy another Target to see if I can find that oil body wash from Naturium. Um, do y'all think I should get another one of those T3 curling irons? I like the one and a quarter, but I feel like the one inch curls tighter, and those curls hold a little bit better. And I love you, you in a way I cannot stay because I got my own thing. <laughs> Proceed to the roof. Y'all, I didn't tell y'all that I almost got into a fight at Target the other day. Like, cold-blooded, for real. For real, for real. Um, I'm walking in Target, minding my business. Not bothering nobody. I went in there for two particular things. Because you know when you go in Target, you need to be one-track minded. Because you will come out having spent $400 on stuff you don't even need. I went in there for two things. Body wash and then glycolic toner that they sell at Ulta from Ordinary. As I'm walking towards the body wash aisle, this lady and her man friend, this black lady and her man friend are walking towards me. She points out my body and then she starts talking about her own body. Now I'm not gonna lie, at first it seemed like she was nice. You know what I'm saying? It didn't seem like there was malintent in, in, in what she was saying, right? So, but I've getting I've gotten this energy from women before. I just immediately cut a left because I'm thinking out of sight, out of mind. If she maybe if she don't even see me anymore, and I just cut this left down this aisle, she'll stop talking because I kept her and her. I kept I, I she kept talking as I walked away. So next thing I know, I hear her say, "You have a good day, ma'am." I keep on walking because I don't think she's talking to me because I don't I don't know her. So next thing I know, she comes down the aisle and she says, excuse me, ma'am, and follows me down the aisle. Excuse me, ma'am. I turn around. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, do you know anyone that does hair around here? I said, no, ma'am, I do my own hair. You know, this this particular day, I had my hair pulled back in a ponytail. Whether you could see the clip-ins or not, it wasn't 
that I didn't want I didn't give a shit. You know, I don't give a fuck about no shit like that. I went in there to get two things and I was headed back home. I went in there trying to look like a damn beauty queen. I said, no ma'am, I do my own hair. Oh, well, you know what? I'm trying to get back into the hair industry and I do hair and I would love to build my clientele back up. So if you could just take a picture of my flyer, I would love to do your hair. I said, okay. Uh, she said, just take a picture. If you don't want to, you know, if you want to call, that's, that's totally up to you. So I take a picture of a flyer. She said, cause yeah, if I were you, I wouldn't put my hair in a ponytail because you know, you don't have any edges. So I'm looking at her like, I already knew she was with the shit when she started talking about my body while she was walking with that man. But I'm trying to be nice and cordial. Cause you never know who you're entertaining. It could always be an angel or Jesus. But I don't think Jesus would have said that to me. But yeah, so I'm looking at her and I'm like, really bitch? I'm giving her that really bitch look. She said, but your body looks good. Is it real? I said, ma'am, that's not nice. We don't even know each other. It's not nice to ask someone that you've just met, is their body real? Oh my God, you are so rude. Delete my number out of your phone right now. I said, ma'am, I don't have your number. And it looks like you have a mental problem. You need to go get checked. You need to go get that looked at. So I, as I'm walking off, she follows me and says, actually, you know what? I just went to the doctor and they said my mental health is fine. I turned around and snapped. It, it, didn't, it didn't take long, I snapped. Before I know it, I was being very loud and I said, if you don't get the goddamn shit out of Cause you know when you get mad, right? The cursing words don't come out like they supposed to. I snapped, so that's all I remember. If you don't get the goddamn shit out of my face. Oh, I spit all over my little, um, maybe I spit on her too. So she's always at the end of the other aisle. Like w w they separated us. So she's at the end of the other aisle. She calling me out kind of bitches and hoes talking about God gonna handle me. And she's on YouTube and very popular. Baby, I looked her up. She's got one video, one view. Help her Lord. There is no threat. You should not feel threatened as a woman. However you look to walk past another woman and feel some type of way. When I see a pretty girl, I be thinking to myself, Am I a little gay? Because I love, I love to see a beautiful woman. I feel like, I don't even understand how it's so many men messing with men. And it's not a dig. But I'm just saying, it is so many beautiful women in the world. I don't understand how the ratio is so off between like, why are there so many single women in the world? And like, why you don't... Why you don't have a man, sis? Why we don't have a man? Like, we're beautiful. Got our shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel threatened when I walk past a, a beautiful woman. I am compelled to tell you how beautiful you are. Because it's by chance, there's somebody that has not said it to you today. So I just put on uh, Ebony Wood. It's a Zara scent, but it's uh, a, a Joe Malone collab. Actually, if y'all didn't know that, this is actually a Joe Malone collab. Joe Malone um, made this scent. Um, yeah, this is Zara, Ebony Wood. This was like $7. It's just a roller ball. Because, you know, I've been smoking or whatever, so. We don't want to smell like what we've been doing. But I'm about to go and pop it off and eat. And give me something to eat. Um, I'm in the mood for stuffed crab. Yeah. Yeah. So my actual, it's so humid outside now. It's been raining nonstop for the past week and a half. And it is so humid. So that's what my curls looking like now. I know with the other clip-ins that I got, those curls will hold more frizzy hair and like this kinky texture, it just doesn't hold a curl. It just don't. But because that's how my natural hair is, I mean, you really can't tell. I really look like I'm walking out here with tresses, bitch. You hear me? 
but my scent of the day was uh mirin tonka mixed with another 13 by Le labo uh heaven heaven scent that is a heaven scent combo there however both of those are like very like low on the longevity um in so like they don't they don't last long like you can smell them but it's like a faint scent so ebony wood is more heavy and because i've been smoking and it's nine times out of ten in my hair yeah it's perfect i actually thought i had grabbed a bdk until i find a way i will say Armstrong McCall. Um, I met Courtney up here because she used to do um, hair professionally. So she has a hair license. So um, she was telling me about these products. They're in the back seat, but it's like a smoothing lotion that's supposed to help your hair stay frizz free for longer because this humidity is it's kind of like Memphis. It's reminding me of Memphis. It usually, like Texas usually has a dry heat. So even if you like natural your hair won't typically like frizz up really really bad because it's a dry heat but right now it's very humid like it's like 75 percent humidity so good luck having curls child with this type of hair so anyway she was telling me about some products that she uses on her 4c clients that help extend the amount of time um their hair stays straight before it starts to frizz up. So we just went in there and got a couple of items. I'll show you guys when I get to the house. But she kept telling me how good I smell. And I'm like, damn, I really would want I really want to tell you what I'm wearing, but I'm wearing like three different things. So I don't I don't I don't I really don't even know what she was smelling. I nine times out of ten, it was the ebony woods. The ebony woods is very potent. It smells good. It's, it smells very good. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So we out in the colony. We out in Colony, Texas right now. I actually should drive around and see what all is out here and have me just like a little shopping day. Oh no, I need to go to Ulta. Let me find an Ulta out here. Because I know if I go to an Ulta out here, they're going to have those products that I was looking for. This mango lemonade from Papa Do's is so damn good. Okay. So, I'm glad that I remembered to go to Ulta while I was out here in the suburbs. They had one left. One of these. So, um, supposedly on TikTok, the girls are saying that you can use this under your underarms and it will lighten your underarms honey and i do have i do struggle with hyperpigmentation in a few areas so i'm gonna try it on a i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it i'm gonna give it a real review we're gonna give the world um and then i also tried i saw this olay rinse off body conditioner this is the one with shea butter i ain't even smelled it i just this looks like something new i've never seen it before so i was like Hey, let's give it a try because it says something about to help stop dry skin before it starts. And y'all know I got alligator skin pretty much. And then I also got the nighttime rinse off body conditioner. This one has B3 and retinol. So I got this one too. So if I like when I take a shower in the daytime, I use this one. When I go to before I go to bed at night and I take a shower, I'm going to use this one. 
also y'all when when monkeypox first hit the streets let me tell you i was so spooked i was so spooked this came in handy a lot for me like walking around in public touching things that other people could have potentially touched anytime i went shopping i would always just spray it on my hands so i love that little uh, hand, uh, hand sanitizer so much i bought another one and this one is aloe it's called aloe you okay i don't know if y'all have seen these but i was in the register at the register in target just then and i saw these and these like i feel like when you got a um when you're doing an updo or you got a ponytail but you want your ponytail to kind of sit a little high these will be perfect to kind of flip your ponytail up and clamp it so like it kind of falls like a waterfall so i got those little bitty clamps and just some batteries so now we about to get back in this traffic. Oh God, I'm gonna get in traffic. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. I just like got on live and did a breakdown of why I put the songs the way I put the songs on the playlist, which I have been jamming nonstop. Um, and it basically, I just basically like explained what dating is like for me. I feel like it's like that for a lot of girls though. Like just from the conversations that i've had like dating is so hard and it's so beautiful in the beginning you know what i'm saying how like it's almost kind of like when you start dating somebody new shit like a broken record you already know how it's gonna go so in the beginning like it's it's so beautiful in the beginning you falling in love and you like yeah i could really see myself with him like i like him but then the roller coaster starts. You know what I'm saying? The up and downs. The sick start getting old. The arguments start. The insecurities start. Um, the inconsistency starts. So like dating really is a roller coaster. It's a freaking roller coaster. And it's some days i'd be like yeah let's go ahead and try i want to try love again because when i listen to certain songs it makes me want to be in love but then when i listen to talk songs about like toxicity and narcissism and stuff like that i'd be like mm -mm. i don't know i'd rather not i just had deja vu i just had deja vu been here before i've been in this moment before like this whole this me talking even talking about this this is deja vu i have been in this moment before i don't want the whole time traveler and what about it you can't tell me shit i'm a whole time traveler i time travel next time a nigga asks me what do you do i'm gonna say time travel Hold up before we end this campaign. As you can see, we done body the damn lames. Lord, please let them accept the things they can't change. And pray that all of their pain be champagne. Sounds so soulful, don't you agree? Uh, I invented sweat Popping bottles, putting supermodels in the cab Proof I guess I got my swagger back Truth New watch alert Few blows Or the big face rolly, I got two of those Arm out the window through the city, I maneuver slow Cock back, snap back, see my cut through the holes Damn hey, Yeezy and Ho, where the hell you been? Niggas talking real wreck Y'all know what I feel like listening to. Uh, do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it, baby, stick it, uh, stick it, baby, do it. Shake, shake that body like a soft shaker. Shake, shake that body like a soft shaker. Put a hump in your back and lift your rump. A hump in your back and lift your rump. A uh, do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it. <laughs> What's the name of that song? I don't even know what's the song title. What what is it called? Let's let's just Google it. 
Let's go. Hey Siri. Let me see if Siri got a problem. Play do it, baby, stick it. I couldn't find the baby stick it in your Apple Music Library. You can ask me to play a radio station or ask for your music in a different app. What is the name of that fucking song? He also has the mic. that I made to my bedroom so if you guys remember on this particular wall there was a mirror dresser in the TV so I changed that around and now it's a nice reading nook so the test lamps were super affordable they came from Amazon and I love them because they're touch and they dim. Of course, you know this art light here is also from Amazon. And then this wall art here is from at home. I was able to find this table on Amazon as well. And it was actually super affordable. And then that little vase is from Home Goods. And then this House of Siage, Whispers of Truth, is one of my favorite scents from House of Siage. This candle. This candle is absolutely amazing. And I'm talking about it makes the house smell so good and the room smells so good. And it's actually only $60. So way more ex inexpensive than the Baccarat. So yeah, this is my new little reading area and sitting area for getting ready. It kind of looks like a fitting room. Definitely still working on things. It's almost done for the most part. Um, I'm just trying to decide where I want to put these trees, if I want to keep these trees. Um, because that little faux pompous over there actually doesn't look that bad, even though this is a glam room. It doesn't like boho the glam up. You know what I'm saying? It kind of like amps it up amps up the luxury looking instead of the the greenery but i don't know i'm still deciding um not quite done but i mean it's not much i have to do i do want to i'm still trying to decide if i want to keep this perfume shelf or sell it or give it away on offer up or something like that and put some bookshelves over there and put my perfume on bookshelves like maybe even floating or something i don't know Baby. Baby.